Jalen Hurts, he is amongst the lead leaguer, leaders in turning the ball over. Well, Shady, you are the leader in rushing yards for the Philadelphia Eagles. I will start with you, my friend. Oh. What you starting with? <laughs> <laughs> Have the Eagles struggles? Have they changed your opinion of the man who was an all-pro last year, the man who went to a Super Bowl last year, the man who many say outplayed Patrick Mahomes in that Super Bowl last year? Have the Eagles struggles changed your opinion of Jalen? No, I, I mean, as I sit here at my job and Fox <laughs> and speak, it's tough right now. Yeah. Jalen, he's not playing well, but collectively, we're not playing well as a team. Our defense looked terrible. Huh? terrible. They, they, they shouldn't even be allowed to line up and, and be an eagle on defense. Mm. We should go out and recruit 11 dudes for the streets. Okay, your truck driver, you look pretty big. Come on in. Mm. Right? You garbage, bro, come on in. That's how they played. They went up and down the field, and it wasn't like the, 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 the Cowboys with Dak Prescott the way he's been playing. It wasn't like Brock Purdy in that crazy office with, 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 with the Niners. It wasn't Lamar Jackson. It was Kyler Murray and the Cardinals who, who've been bad all year. And it's... And it, mm. <laughs> you hear the passion, Joey Taylor. You hear the passion. Yeah, so, I, 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 listen, I, I think it's hard for any quarterback to win with the 29th ranked defense. And it's only 32 teams in football, right? We, 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 we have a coordinator we just put in, put in place now, and you can see it. You can see it. You put a new coordinator in, in, in the season, you can see why I look so confused. Miscommunications. We look bad on defense, yeah. right? The Cardinals, they punt it one time? Mm. Or did it, it was a pick. Punt. They oh, punt. no, it was six out of seven drives, but the one was a pick Correct. six. Yeah. That was a crazy pass he threw. Anyway, we just got to be better. And before we can blame Jalen Hurts, and he has to be better. There's no way in the world that A.J. Brown shouldn't be touching the ball. That's our best player on offense, mm -hmm. right? But as much given uh, blame to him, what about the running game? Why is, why is Swift not touching the rock? Mm -hmm. Why he not in the game? What are we talking about keep here? Going, what are we talking keep about? Going, man. Last, the last, last year, when we were a dominant team, yes, Jalen Hurts did play well. But what really got us going, I hate to say, was the running game. The running game. We, if you were watching, Eagles got in trouble last year. If we played bad on offense coming out the third, uh, second half, we're going to run that ball. We're going to run that ball. Okay, now we run the ball, now we control. Play action. Where AJ at? He's there. T touchdown. Mm -hmm. We're not doing nothing like that. And you can tell, like, it, it's, it's so frustrating because every time you heard the interviews, it's like, what can I say? I don't have nothing to say. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to talk. So, yes, Jalen Hurst should be better. But we all, as, as players, we go through these moments where we be up and down. I've been there. So, I had my year, I made $60 million as a running back, which, you know, it's hard to do. I had 800 yards that year. The next year, I mean, I gave you what I, what I do, you know. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I had a bad year. It happens. And if you watch Jalen Hurts' career, it's, been, it's like this. Ah, it's going up. So, he could be better. But I'm not going to say I changed my opinion about Jalen Hurts. Mm -hmm. He's still an all-pro quarterback that took his team to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Holla at him if you want to. Mm -hmm. Is it on Joy Joy or me? Oh, you want to go? I'll, I'll save, save oh, my okay. thoughts. Oh. James Jones, go ahead. Go ahead James. <laughs> now, give me, the, give me the hate now, though. Give me the hate now. Give me the hate now. Hey, man, I wanted my dog to keep going. I want you to kind of, you hey, know, you can say you're going to get my, there. I want you to get it off your chest. James, you met my dad this weekend, right? Yes, I did. My, my dad and mom went to Vegas. Yeah. They, they doing their thing, you know yeah. what I mean? They doing their little thing. <laughs> he met my dad. Yeah. But my dad always says to me, he come home, hey, boy, this is why I know I'm in trouble. Hey, boy, you want the good news or bad news? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad, give me that bad news. <laughs> Get this spanking out the way. <laughs> so no, I'm with you. Uh, your opinion changed, Jay? My opinion has not changed on Jalen Hurts because I believe this is who Jalen Hurts is. Who is this? Oh, Jalen oh. Hurts showed us last year okay. that he's not going to wow you with Aaron Rodgers numbers and all that type stuff or Tom Brady numbers, touchdown yeah. okay. passes. That's and true. All. He's not going to wow you with that. That's true. His greatest attribute is winning. Right? And that is what he is doing this year. So my opinion hasn't changed. If my opinion has changed, my opinion has changed for this coaching staff. Mm. And the reason oh. why I say that is because every team and coach and coordinator in the offseason gets an opportunity to watch the best players and how can we stop. Talk about it. <clears throat> this dude was an all-pro player last year. What defensive schemes can we run to slow down Jalen Hurts, right? What does Jalen Hurts like to do best? He likes to use his legs, right? So let's eliminate that. Let's make him a true passer in the pocket, right? Teams have been doing that. That's why he started the season off turning the football over a little bit because they stopped him from using his legs. You're going to stand in his pocket and throw the football. You heard Bosa say from the Niners, don't let him escape. Don't even rush up the field. Force him to throw this football. And then you look at the offensive coordinators. You see teams are trying to do that. As an offensive coach in Nick Sirianni, you get with your offensive coordinators. This is how teams are trying to play Jalen. But instead, they said, AJ, you just line up there. 
Devontae, you just line up there, and we're just going to go ahead and play. And we want A.J. Brown to get the ball, but it's so easy to double-team a player when he's just standing there, right? It's hard to double-team C.D. Lamb when he's motioning out of the backfield, when he's starting on the left, going to the right, when he's starting at the Tyreek Hill, start at the wing back, and motion out. It's hard to double-team these dudes. You create opportunities for them. Good point. The Philadelphia Eagles have done Jalen Hurts a disadvantage this year on how they have played offensive football. Right? Teams are loading up to stop the run. We will play you man-to-man. You've seen the Chiefs do it. We'll play you man-to-man. You have to make these throws. It's zero creativeness. And it's been like that all year long. And it's not helping Jalen Hurts, and it's not helping the receivers. So what I seen from Jalen, he gave us this last year, but a couple more turnovers this year. The coaches have not changed nothing. And I put a lot of blame on them because they not, have not helped him be able to read, get the ball out of his hands, and make his job easy. I agree. Yeah, uh, it's the coaching has come into question a lot. That's why they've made some changes. And I, I agree with you. They haven't done a lot to help spice things up, to get everybody involved, get their stars involved, put Jalen Hurts in a better situation. The defense has struggled a lot this year. We knew they were going to look a little different. We didn't think it was going to look this different. Mm-hmm. And that's played a big role in it, played a big role in their most recent loss. But the question is, have the struggles changed my opinion of Jalen Hurts? Mm-hmm. No, they haven't changed my opinion of Jalen Hurts. I'm not going to be that hysterical. And if we really look at the numbers, we would take this year, any year from Jalen Hurts, minus a few of the turnovers. I'm saying. Because we got a worse year from Aaron Rodgers, his last year in Green Bay, and the New York Jets were super quick. Go get Aaron Rodgers and do whatever Aaron Rodgers said on that roster. And we were talking about them in the Super Bowl. That was Aaron Rodgers last year in Green Bay. They had the exact same passer rating, by the way. A little difference in the uh, record, of course, because what Jalen Hurts does best. It wasn't best that you could compare him to. Yeah. I mean, I hated that you said Aaron <laughs> Rodgers' numbers in your rant. I hated that you said it because I had to do it to him. And that's not an indictment of Aaron Rodgers no, because no. we know what Aaron Rodgers is capable of. Okay. Now, obviously, Aaron Rodgers has a, has a much longer resume and a much bigger reputation than Jalen Hurts. But Jalen Hurts was in the Super Bowl Last year, I can officially say that now because we're in 2024. (laughs) Last year, he was in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Last year, he was all pro. Mm -hmm. Last year, he was runner up to league MVP. And if you really look at the numbers outside of the turnovers, which I think he will correct next year, what are we talking about with Jalen Hurts? Jalen Hurts isn't capable of being a franchise quarterback now because they're 11 and 5 in the postseason, Mm -hmm. by the way, and having a down year. Come on. You know, you know what she's yeah, talking you, about. Yeah, you've been quiet. You let us all go. This is your turn. She's talking to me? Yeah. He's looking straight. Yeah. No, he ain't no onesie. It's it you. He looked through me. I'm like, my turn over. Yeah, so he's an all set up piece. No. <laughs> she teed you up, brother. She went. Right. Um, for clarity, of course, I believe Jalen Hurts is a franchise quarterback. Right. I do believe that. Um, has my opinion of Jalen Hurts changed? It hasn't changed, but I've been reminded of my concerns. Last year, Jalen Hurts did not wow us on tape. Mm -hmm. That's why Micah Parsons went on his podcast, on Von Miller's podcast, and quite literally said, I mean, is it the system or is it Hurts? Is it Hurts or is the system? Because Micah Parsons, as a defender, watches a tape like most everybody else in the National Football League's defenders and says, Jalen Hurts' game does not wow you. His winning wows you. Now, why I'm truly, truly, truly concerned is very simple. Jalen Hurts has been hurt all year this year. Jalen Hurts was hurt at the end of last year. When I think about mobile quarterbacks throughout the history of the National Football League, they individually and they collectively peak in their first five seasons. Mike Vick's third year in the National Football League, conference championship. Robert Griffin's first year in the National Football League. I believe they made the playoffs, and I believe he won Rookie of the Year. Cam Newton's fifth year in the National Football League. He was a league MVP. He went to the Super Bowl. Russell Wilson's second and third year in the National Football League. He went to the Super Bowl. He went to the Super Bowl. So historically speaking, mobile quarterbacks, their first five years, it is their window, in large part because of the deterioration of their mobility. Now, I hope Lamar Jackson is an outlier to that rule, but he might just be the outlier that proves the rule. So the reason I'm concerned isn't necessarily because of Jalen Hurts has gotten worse. It's because I'm looking at the history of the National Football League as it pertains to mobile quarterbacks. They usually have their greatest success early on. Jalen Hurts in his third year was an all-pro, hard to do. He was a runner-up for MVP. He went to the Super Bowl and lost. Well, we've seen great quarterbacks do similar things. Cam Newton went to the Super Bowl, lost. MVP, he won. Mm -hmm. So the reason I'm worried 
isn't because I don't think he's a franchise quarterback. It truly is because I think that Jalen Hurts, he's never going to wow us. So can he win at a higher clip than we've already seen him win? Yes. Could, couldn't, couldn't, I mean, I mean, I know none of us have any faith in this, but like <clears throat> the Eagles could still go to the Super Bowl this year. Of course. Yeah, they got a chance. Punch a ticket. The Lions could. Punch a ticket. Oh, 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 yeah, we know. Everybody in the postseason everybody has an could. opportunity to go yeah. to the playoffs this year. I think everybody could. Right. Shady, you agree? Huh? You huh? <laughs> I don't understand why everything has to be so final. What do you mean by that? Man. Like, you, so, uh, do things not evolve? Wait, who are we beating, though? Hold on. I, I, no, 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 no. Listen, I, I, don't think that the, I don't think that the Eagles oh, okay. are, are in a position right now. <laughs> Check it out. But they have, they, have a, they have a chance, okay, just, just like everybody else does. So we're saying, we're assuming in this case that the Eagles are not going back to the Super Bowl this year, right? We, we in this conversation, there. we're assuming that, we yes. We ain't going there. I just want for clarification. We've been there, though. We, okay. not, not this year. Yes. We'll we be back soon. What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, I... I while I hear that is the, st the statistic for running quarterbacks, I believe that the league is evolving. Like, I think oh, it's, that, oh, yes, it is. I believe the league is evolving. W w running quarterbacks used to be something that everyone was absolutely astonished by. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are not mobile, people don't even really want to draft you. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, the game is adjusting to this hybrid quarterback where you have to be able to move as well. But so calling Jalen Hurts a mobile quarterback is fair. Yes, he does use his legs a lot. He also throws the ball. Lamar Jackson is a mobile not quarterback a lot. who also throws the ball. But, and and that, great points, but this is where I differ. Jalen Hurts has never sniffed 30 passing touchdowns. Sniffed it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, to, to, to a quarterback who's never sniffed 30 passing touchdowns and won a Super Bowl, Brad Johnson, that's the only one if you include playoffs since the turn of the century. Joe Flacco, but he had 11 touchdowns, no interceptions en route to winning a Super Bowl, so he had 30 passing touchdowns. It's hard for me to even compare Hurts to the likes of Lamar, who led the league in passing touchdowns. So, but, 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 she, but she's saying the game is involved. So, so I guess the old, I guess, quarterback, you, you didn't see a lot of black quarterbacks. Of course. Right? Now, I mean, yeah, every, we, almost every quarterback is you almost also, black. You also, we still, so, when we talk about statistics, don't even like to include rushing touchdowns. That's how I was about to get to that. Like, so when you say it's involved, yeah, like now, you see more rushing plays from the quarterback's Correct. position where you haven't seen before. So but, you got to add that to the... So full, but that's full circle my concern. Because my biggest concern was what? The fact that Jalen Hurts has been hurt all year this yeah. year. And he was hurt at the end of last year. And how did he get hurt? He got hurt running. Now, quarterbacks all get hurt. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, what is the value proposition of your mobility to your ability? Okay. Jalen Hurts' mobility is one of the greatest strengths of his ability. So if he loses his mobility, mm -hmm. like he has this season, if he loses his mobility, then his ability in totality will go down. So that's where I am concerned is because of because. So of que question for you, because all you guys can answer this. So because I hear you talking about the, you know, the struggles and all that. Do you think Jalen Hurts has taken a step back? Because you've, you've touched on like you haven't seen him be great. Special. When I, special. When I watched that Super Bowl, whether he was hurt or not, Oof. he was special. Mm -hmm. yeah. Throwing the football, yeah. he was special. You know, so for me, that's why I say I blame a lot of it on the offense because... They didn't have a whole offseason to watch your offense and how to stop you. And you look special in the biggest game in the world against the best quarterback on the planet. You know, so for me, my question to you is, do you think he took a step back this, this season? Really good question. I, I think he, I don't think he took a step forward. That's really what it comes down to. Do I think it took a step back? I don't think so. But I think about the Super Bowl game. There were two real special throws. I believe he had Goddard right and he had Goddard left. The touchdown, A.J. Brown, A.J. Brown was Oh, no, 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 that's a ball. That's a ball. That's a ball. But A.J. Oh, outside Ooh. shoulder, the, the, the D-back right there, that was I'm, a ball. My, my favorite ball, I'm saying, was the one to hey. Dallas Goddard, Whoa. which I thought was like, yo, crazy. Um, did he take a step back? I don't think so. Because if you look at it statistically, he's quite literally like the same guy. Now, I, I'm not as flippant with turnovers. Like, I can't say plus or minus a few turnovers. Turnovers are the game. Oh, yeah. So that's a big deal. But he's same, same dude. He has 38 touchdowns this year. He had 35 last year. I, I don't know, but, but I mean, hold up. Hold up. Go ahead. And I'm the eagle guy here. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll be honest. It, it don't look the same, though. Agreed. So you say it's kind of the same year, but I, you say he's in the same spot? You gotta, I, I can't, I can't take here's, here's it. Why, looks way different. But here's why. I think the, the victor writes the story. The Buffalo Bills game, Jalen Hurts did not play well. Mm -hmm. But they won. Right. And he had five passing touchdowns. Mm -hmm. So we didn't come on the show and say he didn't play well. Yeah. He was the favorite to win MVP after that game. But y'all realize, he didn't play well. 
but he was favorite to win MVP because the Eagles won and he had five touchdowns. So last year, I think Jalen Hurts was very similar to this year. The difference is this defense has been atrocious. So now every quarterback is outplaying him. The last eight games, seven quarterbacks have outplayed Jalen Hurts when he's gone on the field with them. Kyler outplayed him. Dak outplayed him twice. Drew Locke outplayed him. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I hit Kyler. Brock Purdy outplayed him. Like, everybody's outplaying him, in large part because the defense is so bad, and, Jaylen, and Josh Allen outplayed him. So if every opposing quarterback is outplaying you, then we got to change our story about you. Last year, he only got outplayed one time by Justin Fields because he got hurt in the game. That was it. And maybe Trevor Lawrence. Maybe because he threw two but, picks, but Trevor Lawrence fumbled four times. Uh, what do you think, George? I, 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 think I think we're rewriting what we saw last year. Like, my memory is not like great, but I feel that they were pretty good last year, and Jalen Hurts played at a high level for I thought he like, did. most of the yeah. year. Mm-hmm. So, so let's just, maybe let's just set that aside. If, if, if anything, he's been a victim of his own success no due to last no, year. No doubt. We can look at the numbers, and numbers don't tell the whole story. The reason why I brought up Aaron Rodgers' numbers is because we are panicking. Uh, does our opinion change of Jalen Hurts? Well, our opinion didn't change of one bad year of Aaron Rodgers, so much so that they, he went to another team and they changed the whole team around for him. And we were talking about them being in the Super Bowl for six months. Yeah. Now, we'll never know if that was true or not because he got injured. But he got injured. And he ain't a running quarterback, by the way. Who also got injured? <laughs> so injuries are part of the game. I do think that I'm, I'm interested to see how the narrative about running quarterbacks actually compared to non-running quarterbacks because non-running quarterbacks get injured all the time as well. A lot of them are injured right now yes, they do. in yeah. the league. Yeah. So h- h- how does that affect moving forward, being that we're changing how we evaluate quarterbacks, all that I think will matter. So I, that's why I push back on the running quarterback here's, thing. Here's my biggest thing is, to me, it's not about just running. And I hate getting too nuanced here because I don't have the numbers to show you all. It's all about how do you run compared to how much you pass. If Jalen Hurts passed for 35 touchdowns, his, his, his 15 rushing touchdowns wouldn't bother me. The fact that he's rushing for 600 yards three consecutive times, only Lamar Jackson and Randall Cunningham at the quarterback have done that, that wouldn't bother me. But the fact that Jalen Hurts doesn't also do it through the air. So what happens when you can't run? Josh Allen, it don't bother me that he rushes for 800 yards last year because I know Josh Allen can throw for 40 passing touchdowns. So when he can't run, Mm -hmm. when the defense takes it away, bombs, bombs, bombs. But how, James Jones, Mm -hmm. how will I, can I see you consistently win Super Bowls or win a Super Bowl, et cetera. How, but, if you don't pass for 25 touchdowns in a 17-game in a yeah. season? Yeah, and, and I understand that, but that's why it's so frustrating to me because we see Lamar Jackson come into this league and we see the Baltimore Ravens say, we're building this thing around Lamar. We got to get the right personnel around Lamar. We're going to get the right coach, we think, around Lamar. We're going to run what Lamar is going to have a lot of success at. Then as Lamar kind of grew and we started seeing Lamar throw this football, they say, ooh, we, the young fella is getting better at throwing the football. Let's go get an offensive coordinator to where we can spread people out and Lamar Jackson can throw this ball and he still can use his legs, right? That's what we've seen the Baltimore Ravens do. We have not seen the Eagles change all year long and the coach is getting up there saying we ain't going to change. But you see your quarterback struggling. You know right now in Jalen Hurts' career, young career, he's not a true pocket passer that's just going to stand back there and pick a defense apart. He's not that as much as we want him to be that, right? So let's create some plays to where he's on the move, getting this ball out of his hands. Let's get in some bunch of formations. Let's motion people over here to help him get the ball out of his hands faster into his playmaker's hands. We see none of that. It's either a draw or a sweep with Jalen Hurts. Right? Are he dropping back, just throwing a bomb in the double coverage or whatever it may be to AJ Brown or Devontae Smith because it's no creativity. Nowhere. So y- your problem with the numbers is that Jalen is not close to 30 touchdowns. What are you at? 26? What Historically, at? Jalen Hurts has never sniffed 20 passing touchdowns. Okay. So I've never seen him in his four year career, I've never seen him do it. Rookie year doesn't count. Sophomore year, he had 16. His last year, he had 22 passing. This year, I believe Jalen Hurts is at 23. So it's a four-year sample size. Yeah, okay. And I just, four years, we haven't, that just matters to me. Again, I'm a defender. You, y'all play offense. Uh, yeah. Joy, you watch a game from a neutral perspective. So if y'all don't care, I'm not mad at y'all. But I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, bro, why drive when you can fly? 
I mean, I just don't care because I, I, I think that we are in a unique space in the league where all I hear about every year, we're going to talk about it when the draft comes up, is he a mobile quarterback or a pocket passer? Because he's got to be able to move around a little bit. We don't want that statue in the, in the pocket. That's over. Boom, boom, boom. That's over. So we also have to adjust how we evaluate quarterbacks. Are they running quarterbacks? Are they hybrid? Or like, what, what is the terminology? Because it's such a bad thing yeah. to be a running quarterback, what? but everybody wants a running quarterback. And then when you have a running quarterback. Yeah, that's a great question. What's, I want to say, what's, what's Patrick Holmes? Well, hey, let me get to break because I got to hit this commercial break. Let's get back to this conversation that what's Patrick Mahomes? Let's revisit that. <laughs> Honestly, it's my favorite conversation um, because that is a great dialogue. Yeah, Mobile quarterbacks, running quarterbacks. I have thoughts as a defender. When we return, let's revisit the most interesting conversation in all of sports right now. That's next on Speed. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.